What's going on everybody? It's Brian Smarty here, your mortgage consultant, and I'm here to share my experiences to help you finance your next home. Today, I'm gonna ask you three questions that you need to ask yourself whether it's best for you to rent or buy your next home. The last question is major key, so make sure you stay to that. Question one, how much can I afford for a rent or a monthly mortgage? Currently, I'm paying $1,400 for a one-bedroom condo in Montgomery County. If I spoke to a loan officer and I qualified for a $2,000 mortgage, I would need to have to budget for that. This means an extra $600 a month will just have to go to housing, let alone my expenses. Understand that when you own a home, you're going to have electric bill, gas bill, water bill, and more maintenance. And then there's always the car note or just every day going out. If you're coming from an apartment or a condo, you may not have these expenses already. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I forget, hey, quick PSA here. Please follow me on all my socials at Brian Sumardi. Thanks. Question two, what are the values of the homes where I want to live and what are the rents in that area as well? Here in Montgomery County, the average list price for a single family home is 585,000. As a first time home buyer, you may be able to qualify for a 3% down purchase. For example, with a 7% interest rate, your principal and interest with 3% down on a $585,000 house would be $3,775.26 just for your principal and interest meaning your loan amount. Now, if we estimate a $1,400 annual homeowner's insurance policy and $4,181 in annual property tax, your monthly mortgage will be roughly $4,240.34. Generally speaking, the bare minimum to qualify for this loan, you would need to make $9,900 monthly gross as a household, and that's also assuming if you had no other debts or liabilities. This also equates to around 119,000 as a gross annual income. And now leads to my final question. Question three, how's my income situation? Now you have sub questions here. Do I have a steady income? Do I have the right documentation that shows my income? If you have a W-2 job, your most recent W-2 will show and cover your income. If you're self-employed or own at least 25% of a business, I will need to see a year-to-date profit and loss statement and two years of your business tax returns to qualify your income. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Please check out the description below to check out my links to contact me directly. I'll see you in the next one.